Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living or start with having, but we usually don't allow hackers to live on X company properties that are probably still owned by our Charlies in order to harass people with technology and use the panhandlers in the community who are so jealous of people like you and me for having actual lives and actually directions and actually vision, missions, and values for our lives in a way that harms other people. And openly they go into office supply stores and they make their friendships across the cultural divide because their husband is black and the woman in the store is black. And therefore there's already some sort of an affinity between that white woman and that black woman because they're a part of that community. And I'm not being facetious. That is what happens in communities. Just as I had a Japanese spouse, I was welcomed into the Japanese community. But that's not the point. The point is what we did was to raise up the level of Japanese education. We did not ever do anything to harm anyone, and that's the difference in vocation. You see, my vocation is about raising up people's vibrations, helping them find the Lord in themselves and the Lord around them and the people and the angels that work around them. When people don't believe in God, they do a lot of abusive things, and abuse is something we don't tolerate in America. We do not tolerate people coming in from foreign countries to abuse, torture, and commit treason in our life. And openly, there are people and families that betray us in such a way that it's almost as deep and as profound as treason. We don't like when people do this, we hate when people do this, yet people do this as if they have the right to do this. It's sort of incredible that people do this, and it's amazing that they will continue to do this because they think as a group they can get away with this. They can't. In front of God, you have chosen your lie. You have chosen your abuse. You have chosen your attack. You have chosen your foolishness in front of Jesus Christ, and you think you're going to stand there in your badass, black Satan way. And I don't mean that in any color or tribe or in any way. What I'm saying is that you're choosing to bask in the dark, to harm someone's life, because what? Your life is so stark? Why don't you raise your vibration, get yourself in the house of the Lord, pray every single day for an opening and an invitation to something else in life, and you might just find that it will come what may.